There is a question that is often asked when it comes to successfully achieving a goal or completing a task. The question is, what are some of the qualities that you need to have to be successful? You will most likely see words such as motivation, determination, perseverance, discipline, or hard worker, driven, and consistency along with many other words. When you look at a list with all these ways that people think that you should have, motivation is always at the top of the list. People think that motivation is the top key factor when really motivation should be the least factor. The reason why I say that is because motivation doesn't really work. Motivation is an emotional feeling that is temporary. Motivation comes with the feeling of joy, happiness, and excitement. But what happens when all that runs out? How many of you feel motivated 24-7? How many of you run on motivational food? How many of you can say that you feel motivated each day when you get up? Well, I can vouch. I don't always feel motivated. Sometimes I have my moments too where I feel kind of low and I have no energy. I have days where I don't want to do anything at all but just lay in my bed. I heard a quote once that stated, motivation is the key to success. Motivation, however, is a factor, but it isn't the key to unlock the doors to your success. Motivation isn't self-reliant. You can be motivated about something for a while and one day decide that you don't want to do it anymore because you don't see yourself doing it in the long run. When it comes to staying motivated, you have to remember your why. Why are you doing what you're doing in the first place? Is it for to create generational wealth for your family, creating a better quality of life, traveling to see the world, giving back to your community? Don't be hustling just to hustle because you can lose yourself like that. You're working and working lost, don't know when to stop or where to stop, basically burning up fuel. You can't work and not have a goal. You have to have a strategic plan because that will help you to see your vision more clearly and guide you on what steps that you need to take on where you're headed. The factors that will unlock the door to success are self-discipline, commitment, dedication, resilience, and a positive attitude. Are you willing to set a time and day to decide to strictly focus on your goals without any outside distractions? You have to train your mind to be sharp focused. It's more easier said than done, I know, because I can get easily distracted. But that's only if I allow myself to get distracted. There is no time to fool around because the more you fool around with what doesn't add value to yourself and doesn't align with your goals, the more time that you are wasting. Are you willing to stick with your plan and not give up on it? One of the problems that I see in this generation is that people have a hard time with commitment. People aren't willing to see things through. Once something goes wrong unexpectedly, people quit and don't return back to it. Some of you are scared because you're scared to see how things will turn out. Everything isn't always how it looks. That's how the enemy tricks you. They fill your mind up with fake scenarios that appear real. I'm going to give you an example. Let's just say you're on a mountain trip. And in order to get to your destination, you have to climb over a mountain. You're walking and from your point of view, you notice this mountain and it looks really big. And it looks like you have to climb a long way up to get over it. As you continue to walk towards it, you start to become nervous because you're wondering to yourself, I might not be able to go up this mountain because for one, it looks too big and it looks like it's going to be hard. But you continue on walking anyways. Now you're getting closer and closer, you realize that you're about to reach it and you're thinking to yourself, I don't think that I can do this. I'm about to turn around because I don't think that I can accomplish this. I'm going to try and find an easier route. And before you know it, you're at the mountain. You look up and it looks like you got a long ways to go. So you begin to climb and the more you're climbing up, it's not so bad at first. Then you continue to climb much, much more and you feel yourself getting a little tired. You stop and you take a break. You look up again and it looks like you haven't gotten anywhere. You start to climb again and a whole lot more and you're thinking, will I ever get to the top? How long do I have to go? And the more you continue, you start to feel like you're about to give out. You feel like you don't have the strength to keep going. You put in all your strength and effort in getting there. And as soon as you're about to give out, boom, you're at the top. The mountain projected fear on you because from your point of view, it looked big. But as you got to the mountain and climbed your way to the top of it, you realized that the mountain wasn't as big as you thought it was. It took some time to climb it, but in the end, you finished it. Even though you were scared, you still progressed forward into achieving the challenge that you had to face to get to your destination. The journey will be tough, but you will be proud of the results. No mountain is too big for you. Are you willing to treat your project like it's your baby? 
Are you willing to feed and nurture it so that it will grow from the nutrients that it has produced from your hard work and effort? There are 26 letters in the alphabet. We are asked if our plan A doesn't work out, what is your plan B? If neither doesn't seem to work, then you don't have anything else. I say if plan A doesn't work, go to plan B. If plan B doesn't work, then go to plan C. If plan C doesn't work, then go to plan D. Don't ever stop. Keep going. Because the next plan that you're stepping into from all the other failed ones may be the one to change your life forever. One thing about our journey is that it shows us that we can bounce back from any setbacks and overcome any adversity. Don't allow the enemy, the naysayers, the haters, the doubters to deter you away from the plan that God has for you. They can't stop you. You are a powerhouse. You are indestructible. If God be for you, then who can be against you? Keep in the mind the promises that God has given you, which is a plan to not harm you, but to give you hope and a good future. Don't keep yourself stressing out over what you can't control, but what you can control is how you react. Keep a positive attitude and show gratitude because you have a chance to walk into your greater. Speak over yourself and say, I am walking to my greater. I decree and declare a greater shift happening in my life. The glory of the Lord is upon me. What you have been praying to become, you already are. Activate and walk in your purpose.